Marc Knopfter est venu nous rendre visite au bar de l'écho des bananes et nous allons discuter quelques instants avant de passer cette très belle vidéo. Marc, uh, your, uh, your album just released and uh, you have um, two musicians more in the band. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. The yeah. tour's changing. <laughs> I don't know. They, they're changing. Well, no, they've been, uh, they've been in the band for... Uh, Alan and Hal have been in the band for two years now, long yeah. time. There's in, Terry is new in the drum. New Terry is a... From you Rockpile. Mm -hmm. He's from Rockpile. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why do you change of drummer? Oh, well, um, uh, Pick uh, wanted to... Um, he wasn't happy with his drums. Uh, he wanted to... Uh, he has a... Uh, a baby, you know, uh, uh, he has a nice place in the countryside, so he just wanted to uh, play uh, piano and vibes and uh, practice his drums and stay off the road for a while. Mm. Okay, you you are the producer and the um, composer, I mean, you're quite all the band yourself. Uh, do, you, um, do you leave the other members? Um, in the in the band are very involved in the in the group or do you think it's your group first of all well uh, everybody's involved in the group i mean that's one of the nice things about having a group you know yeah. i mean if you didn't want uh, people to be involved then uh, you wouldn't have a group you, you have a very uh, presage uh, style of um, playing guitar and uh, you play on uh, other artist uh, with other artists like Bob Dylan and yeah. recently with violin. Um, do you do you have some uh, uh, some idea of who do you want to play with? I mean, as a musician. Anybody. I mean, uh, I think it's musicians should play with uh, other musicians. I think it's uh, good. And you know, uh, I'd play with anybody if they, if the songs are good or if, uh, if I like them. You know. It's, uh, I think that's what most musicians would. I mean, I don't, I've never met any musicians, uh, you know, who don't, who wouldn't. Who is the um, guitarist who um, impressed you more uh, in, in your first year? Oh, the very beginning? Yeah, in the very beginning. It was probably, uh, it was different people. It was probably the shadows, you know, the yeah. start, things like that I used to like. And, uh, you know, old Everly Brothers so records. And uh, I just remember, you know, when I was singing Everly Brothers songs, I didn't know that it was uh, Chet Atkins who was playing the guitar. And, uh, in fact, just last week, I, I did a session for uh, Phil Everly. Yes. And I'm going to do some more. So it's very strange. Very OK, strange. so now we are going to see your new um, video clip. And I was very impressed last year with uh, with the uh, of, yes last year with the video Making you made movie stuff. yeah because um, they are very 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 work I mean they, it's it's not the video we are used to to see and uh, the new one is in, in the same style no I don't think so not at all I mean every anybody who uh, makes a video um, has their own style just the same as you have your own style yeah so. <laughs> Uh, and I like to, you know, to respect this. anybody who makes a film to make a film with this way. Mm. Okay, we're gonna look your new uh, title now. Okay. Thank you, Mark. Pleasure. Oh, I started with a, uh, a guitar, and it was like, you know, like the table, and it was uh, there's a red uh, copy of a like a Fender, you know. It cost, I remember, because it cost my dad 50 pounds, and uh, I was 15, and uh, that was a long time ago. And uh, he, he, it cost him a lot then, he didn't have a lot of, uh, a lot of money, but uh, I remember, I then, of course, I didn't have an amplifier, you know, so I got this electric guitar that I really wanted, you know, no, uh, no amplifier, so I ended up, uh, that just destroyed the radio set, you know. And you could actually, with a solid guitar, you could, like, put it on the table, you know, and you put your ear on it and play, you know. And, of course, then you play with a, uh, <coughs> a plectrum. I don't know what you call it in France. Like Mediator. A, a what? Mediator. Really? Okay. <laughs> I was using a plectrum all the time, uh, you know, all the time. That's what I wanted to do, and that's what I, I did use uh, up until just a few years ago. I'd use, uh, like, a plectrum, something like this. So you could even use this, like a... 
with the matches or something. So I heard um, we're playing pop music and rock and roll music all the time, like like this, which which is you know the plectrum style, like that. But then the more and more uh, you play with your fingers, right? Instead of the thumb just being down here and the fingers up the top, my thumb and fingers will get closer together. So, I, you know, instead of, say, you do something like this, it was the thumb and finger, you know. And, and your thumb and fingers start to do more and more. You know, and stuff like that. Which is just like some finger thing. And I was about, I don't know, I can't remember when, sometime in the 1970s, uh, maybe about uh, 74, I think, maybe somewhere around there, I realized that I was just using the, the, the pick, you know, less and less. And I could do more things with my fingers. So even like something heavy, you know, like you're really going heavy with a, with a pick, you know, you'd be, you'd be going, you'd be doing this thing like... Uh, I don't know, it wasn't, it's, it's okay, but like, with your fingers, you can even do it, but... So even if you, even if you're doing like rock, you know, like, and you, you're driving along, you can still use, if you've got a good amp, you know, yeah. and it's pushing it out. So I just, it was just like less and less. I mean, I still use, you know, I still use a, a pick sometimes, but, uh, or match it. Book of matches. <laughs> Do you think that uh, from the beginnings of Day of Starts in uh, '78, the success you you get uh, changed you, changed something in you? Uh, I think um, yes. I, I think probably a little bit, uh, um, but not uh, essentially. Um, because I think that we were too old. You know, by the time it started, we were all, we weren't 18. You know, if we were uh, 18, then maybe some of us would be uh, dead by now. <laughs> I think, you know, there would be much more a casualty, uh, much more casualty that, uh, casualties than, than there were. And um, I don't think I've changed essentially, but I think in, a, um, in the sense that uh, being successful, it, it has lots of advantages. For instance, nobody interferes with what you want to do. If I want to do, if I want to do uh, uh, anything, I mean, if I wanted to record these bottles going like this, you know, and with some voices and uh, maybe uh, a cement mixer and some buses, you know, then I could. And I don't think the record company would really have much to... I mean, I think we could say, OK, this is what I want to put out. Uh, whereas I, you get the feeling that a lot of people who don't sell a lot of records, uh, they don't, the record company would just say, no, we have to maybe do this. And that never happened with me. And I've always, I've never been interfered with uh, on that level. So that's good. You can develop freely without, you can do what you want yeah. without uh, interference. And I think that's one of the great things about being successful. So I like, I like being successful. <laughs> I love it.